Oh my gosh, dude. This is an utter piece of trash. It's trash, boy. You shouldn't buy it. You shouldn't waste your time with it. Because it's trash. It's just trash. So what's my opinion on this particular Black Widow figure? Well, to say the least, it's not very good. There are so many other figures you can spend your time on, and I wouldn't even recommend this figure, unless you were a completionist looking to complete the complete set of Marvel Studios, Captain America, and the Civil War Funko Pop figures, then I guess you could pick this up. But if you're just a casual collector looking to add to your Black Widow collection, I wouldn't invest your time into this. There are so many other great figures that you can choose. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at the actual figure itself. And yeah, he looks horrible. I mean, the box makes it look like it's super duper realistic. It literally looks like they just took the regular Godzilla, dipped it in some orange paint, and the orange started to accumulating in the cracks and crevices of his scales. That's really what it looks like. It looks terrible. I mean, yeah, you could tell it's burning Godzilla, but like, like, I've seen pictures of the NECA. The NECA beats us out, and people didn't really like the NECA burning Godzilla from Godzilla 2019, King of the Monsters. Today, I'm doing a review of one of the worst action figures I own. And this is going to be part of the series that I'm doing of the worst action figures. There is one of the worst action figures in my collection. And you can even see what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Carnage, but look at that face. They didn't even give him the, those, like, teeth, those big, sharp, you know, like, uh, pointy teeth. They just painted him, like, little white pieces that were supposed to be his teeth. Like, figure that's in a kid's line. But it is still pretty cool. Uh, maybe we could get some How to Train Your Dragon figures more aimed at adult collectors, because I know that there's tons of young adults out there, like myself, who absolutely love this franchise. It'd be nice to get some better quality figures. But for what you get for, I'm assuming, 20 10 15 dollars. Oh, you motherfucker! Just leave me alone! No, leave me alone, dude! Oh! Why are you a killer? Why do you, why do you even exist in a game? What, to terrorize players so that they don't do their fucking job and force me to do everything? Draw every day. And I don't even need to go outside and do anything when I just draw every day. And for the voice acting part, you might say, oh, they need the voice actors. There's no need for a voice, for more than one voice actor to be in the audio booth at one time. You can each do your voice lines, your audio dialogue, at once. You don't need to be in the same room at all at once. I mean, it's just silly. It's stupid. A hell of a day. So, if you want to hold on to your life, I would suggest staying out of my way. And if you don't, I will fucking find your coordinates on this map. Find you. And I will blow your fucking head off. That is all. Have a nice day. All the other ghosts and spirits that are seen throughout the movie and sort of play on that sort of uh, jump scare bit. But the jump scares weren't even good jump scares to begin with anyway. They were just cheap, cheesy jump scares that don't even give you a sense of fear that most horror movies should have. This movie felt like it was either too rushed and it was just a boring flick. Um, you don't feel like anything's really going on. The characters just do things. And, you know, at the end of the movie, the garage gets set on fire. Th that's what happens. The movie doesn't feel like it has any coherent story. 
All right, here we have some Ankylosaurus figures. And, I mean, a red Ankylosaurus is kind of pushing it, but... My God, did they even try here? Oh, you're just gonna look at him from above, I guess. You fucking bitch-ass moron. You're just gonna look at him from above. Because look at that. Underneath him, he's God-fucking-forsaken flat. Why is he flat? Like, I like you're gonna look at him from above, you bitch-ass punk. Because look at this shit. It doesn't look good. It's like, I mean, I guess that's what you get for, for, you know, a dollar store Ankylosaurus. Shit. Absolute shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, piece of shit, purple Ankylosaurus. Like, what the hell was Chupacabra Terror? I mean, judging by the title image, you'd think it'd be a pretty badass looking movie. But it wasn't. One of the shittiest movies I've ever watched. The old Godzilla movies have nothing on this. This movie made the old Godzilla movies look like freaking masterpieces. Not that those movies are terrible or anything. It's just, you know, guys in, in rubber suits is, you know, it's weird. But no, they did the exact same thing here with the Chupacabra monster, only it looks way worse. How did this get on DVD? I have no idea. Because it's literally a piece of garbage. It's trash. And I hate it. I hate it. Why do we even still have the DVD? I don't know. To torture myself? I don't know. It, it just sucks, guys. Don't ever buy this movie. Don't watch it. It sucks.